What happens when you get two Minecraft modders create a mod together with basically no communication? That's what me and a friend named Ganon decided to do. Basically, each of us made one part of the data pack, then sent one word over to the other person, then botted something based on that, and went back and forth six times. And of course, what did we start with? Well, Ganon started with making missiles. Let's find a target, shall we? Let's uh, say, this uh, village? Yeah, pick a spawn the village. Uh, the well. The well's the worst spot. Okay. No, cows, move! Move, cows, move! Poor cow. Do you want to continue on big explosion, or do you want to... Big! Big explosion! Boom, boom, boom! Because, hey, why not? Because... You're clustered! It's clustered! Wait, we'll get back to that. Wait, what yeah, happens if I shoot it into the same there. spot? Oh. And this might also be a violation of the convention, so I'm not sure. This is a uh, U.S. Army testing, so get out of the way. Let's go. Woo. And give it a second. Boom! Nice. All right. Here's what Ganon gave me. Explosive. He's gonna have explosives somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where. So I'm thinking we need a way to detect these explosives. That way we can figure out exactly what's going on. So let me introduce to you the tinfoil hat. Now I can just craft it with two iron and three iron ingots, and then I get knowledge of how to craft the tinfoil hat. And then I get the tinfoil hat. Okay, but now the tinfoil hat is really just an iron helmet, so we need to make it do something. Now, if you put on the tinfoil hat, basically anything in the nearby vicinity that could explode, like end crystals or TNT that's been ignited, all of that goes on to the explosive threats. And that includes, like, creepers too. Okay, well that's kind of a problem. What if when we're wearing a tinfoil hat, they just don't attack us? And now when I've got my trusty tinfoil hat on... Oh. Now when I've got my trusty tinfoil hat on... Reapers... Or butts! They won't attack me at all. So we've got our tinfoil hat, we've got our creeper friends, but we still need a way to deal with... Other explosives. So what if we just made an invisible force that kind of just, like, killed anything that went into it? Now, our force field should be completely done. Theoretically, if I shoot it, it should block the shots. But also, it works with tridents and, I think, TNT? Yeah, there we go. Now we've got our force field protecting us from attacks. We've got our tinfoil hat letting us know about any potential dangers. But now, we need a sci-fi... Weapon. First we have the airstrike bow. You aim, you shoot, and then TNT just rains from the sky on top of your target. Does this work? Is that good? Ah! 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 Next we have the shock strike bow. And this just summons lightning around where you shoot it. So you can just shoot it and lightning. And then there's the final bow, the Soul Strike bow. Let's say I see this blue thing. Generally, I want to run, but if I don't, I'll get damaged. And if I don't again, then I'll get damaged again and hit with weakness. Three iron ingots on top. Then finish the helmet with iron nuggets. Wait, nope. Other way around. It's the other way wow, around. Oh, feeding me false information, I see. Sorry. So then you get an iron helmet. Except it's actually a tinfoil hat. Oh, I, oh no, I <laughs> see where this is going. You see two, now you see four, and now you're seeing more, and now you're seeing more, and now you're seeing more, and now you're seeing more. Hey. You, more. you wanna know what's awesome though? You wanna know what's awesome? Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Basically, creepers just don't attack you while you're wearing the hat, um, but you take it off and, um, you just survived that point blank. Well done. Here is your first weapon soldier. It's a bow. You see that house up there? That's our enemy. Shoot it. Yep, got it. No. Yep. No, the house. The house! You fool! You fool! Basically, whatever you shoot, it's gonna, um... 
spawn TNT above it, and it's gonna, um... Really? Yeah, pretty much. Come here! You can't run! You can never run! Running was never an option! Lag was, what though. What the fudge? <laughs> ah. I just looked off! You see these villagers? We don't like them. You know what to do. Geneva is no, don't shoot them. my way! Don't shoot them directly! Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes! Whoa. Well done! I don't want to get wood. The goal? Kill me. With only the Soul Strike bow. You ready? Go! Ah. Oh, gosh. Oh, you just oh. straight hit me. You straight hit me. My aim is too good. Oh, no. I direct at you. No, 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 no. I don't actually know if you got hit by Soul Strike at all. I did not. Oh, I fell. I fell. You see, the key is trapping your opponents, and then you can hit them. Oh, gosh. You got me up against a wall. That's not good. Oh, there's so many great particles. No, no. You actually could win. Oh. And, um... Stop hitting you! I'm sorry, sir. I might have, uh... Might have shot too well. Try and shoot me. Ha! <laughs> Why are you making it so that my arrows are... My aim is no longer impeccable enough? Because your aim was too impeccable, soldier. It's okay, All soldier. Respect, I'm ready to die! Hold your ground, soldier! Hold your ground! I will not falter! Okay, so, I'ma just tell you what you need. Okay. And we're gonna see if you can figure it out. Ah, okay. uh, heavy coal, followed by four iron blocks. Followed by four iron blocks, okay. And four redstone blocks. And four redstone blocks. Oh, I know how to craft this. No, I don't know how to craft this. <laughs> Is it that? No. Is it that? No. It, what if I just absolutely swap absolute? Hey, I got it! I got it! I guessed it! Cannon starter. Cannon starter. Oh, this is like a multi Oh, let's... I uh, accidentally placed it. Um, we will continue building the cannon so that we can remove it later. Up next. Excuse me. In complete honesty, that was an accident. Soldier. Soldier, what is this mockery? Alright, anyways. We need four more. What the? Part two of cannon. Part two of cannon. How how creative. Blow it. Bam. Oh, it's 50%. Part 3 of cannon. Meh. Blow it on. Sweet. Now, how do I use it? Now, oh. for the final part, you need um, the power source. I, um... What the... You can just take it then. off the other stand? I took the cannon! You just what? took the slit off of the other stand! How did I you do this? I took your cannon, I'm sorry! <laughs> so, just to be clear, the bottom card of the part of the cannon is not necessary for this to work, right? I yeah, just it, it, it's but... magical. Cool, final part. Let's Hold that go. on. Hey, it works again. So, now we might want to move this, because we don't want it in the blast zone. Uh, fair enough. Alright, so now we need to make... Big red button! <gasps> I got a big red... Why is there a green button on here, too? Why is there a green uh, button on here, too? Just in case. Fair enough. Big red button! And now wait. Um, so how much TNT does this spawn? A lot! I didn't even see- it just went to fly. So yeah, that is the orbital strike cannon. Sweet! How do you like it? I'm- uh, I'm- um, uh, 8 out of 10. This is round 2, let's see what Ganon gave me. Laser. I am not very excited to do lasers, and here's why. For lasers, it requires something called ray casting, and basically it's line of sight detection. If I'm ray casting, I can figure out exactly which block I'm looking at. The only problem is, I've never done it before and I don't get how it works. Meaning, I've got to watch a ray casting tutorial, and then figure out how it works, and then figure out how to incorporate lasers into this data pack. Alright, I figured it out. Basically, for ray casting, it just gets an invisible entity in the direction that you're going, and then it just moves very, very slightly, very quickly. And then once it hits something, it detects it, and then it counts as hit. Now, I've got a slight bit of a problem. I left a bunch of TNT up there a while ago, and I kind of want to ignite it. So, now I've got my laser pointer, but if I go and name it that TNT up there, it'll ignite and... And now, this is really nice because it works through blocks like glass, but not tinted glass or solid blocks. 
I also made it so you can hit mobs with the laser and deal damage. It's only a half heart, but hey, for a chicken that's at least enough to kill it in just four hits. So in addition to the laser pointer, I decided to get three more pointers. The first one being the fire pointer. And basically, it just spawns fire wherever it goes. This is... <laughs> oh my gosh! The wa the fire just survives through the water. It just falls through completely fine until it hits the bottom, in which case it just drowns. The second one is the force field pointer. And as long as you have force fields in your inventory, you can just click, and wherever it lands, it'll spawn a force field nearby. So click, force field, click, force field. Good for very, very remote force fields. Or if it runs out of range, It'll just spawn it where it ends in the sky. Then there's the final pointer, the Doom Pointer. And this is best by demonstration. Click land. Basically, it'll spawn a bunch of TNT that explodes half a second away from each other, spawn four phantoms, and some lava in the center. Soldier, stand over there on that side yes, of the sir. crater. That side of the crater. First, you said laser, so I went very directly laser. Take your laser, soldier. You see that TNT but over there? Don't, don't fire! <laughs> this villager is being executed for his crimes. We need you to ignite the TNT using only the laser. I hope you can know how to do that. Well done. Duh. Permission to blind you. Uh, 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 uh. This is the fire pointer. You see the snow golems? They don't like fire. Ah! <laughs> fire at will. Ah! <laughs> oh, we got a little forest fire. That's okay. It's so simple, <laughs> but it's so great. Look and watch. <laughs> it goes through the water. I don't know how you made this fire do this, <laughs> but it's epic. All right, soldier. Do you see me? I'm sure, under yes, attack sure. from skeletons. Save me. No! Wrong one! Wrong one! Don't fire me! All due respect, sir, you never gave me another laser! I never gave you another laser. That's fair. Save me, soldier! Save me! These skeletons are gonna shoot at me! Yay! Now I have a force field. It's a remote force field. Not the No! No! <laughs> For mutiny, you'll be charged of your crimes. And I will use the ultimate oh, no. pointer on you. Soldier, are you ready to face your <laughs> ultimate doom? Oh, what the fudge? <laughs> Sir, uh, sir, I don't like this game anymore. It's not a game. You commit treason. Now it's time for you to die. Let me up. Let me up. I got this. <laughs> All right, soldier. Stop, 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 stop. We'll hire you back. You're okay. You're okay. Um, you might want to, like, dodge the, um, oh. Anyway, um, so, uh, those are the lasers. Now, if you want to see Ganon's final creation, I linked his video in the description below. I can't show it because of copyright issues and a lot of recording issues, so make sure to go check out his video below. I've also linked this data pack down in the description if you want to come play it. Mini game. I've invented a Minecraft mini game. This one I call... Survive. Basically, there's this giant cyclops who's going to attack you over and over again, and the goal is to kill him or die yourself. I don't know how much of a minigame it is as opposed to a boss fight, but I'm going to kind of just call it a minigame. Are you ready for the final battle? Let's do it. Yeah, I have no clue what this is going to be. It's a, a cyclops! Begins. His first attack is called the slam attack. Basically, you see these dirt particles? Don't be in them when the slam attack happens. I'm gonna soul strike a bunch here. I'm gonna try and soul strike these zombies. Okay, uh, I spawned TNT on you. Oh, I'm in lava! No! no! Okay, come, come back, come back. Regroup, regroup, <laughs> regroup, regroup, regroup. Alright, you ready? For Sparta! Ow, I got hit. Okay. We've got some husks after you. Uh, I'm not gonna airstrike you. I'm airstriking these husks near me. Oh, it's snowing. Oh gosh, that did actually a lot of damage. I'm soul striking the Cyclops. Oh, um, so Trident's have probably started raining. Noted. I go in. Shock Strike is not effective. I'm gonna air strike. I'm just gonna send a bunch of air on him and hope that kills him. Yeah, that should be it. That should be it. He should be dead after this. Oh. He's close. He's close. Going in. 
<laughs> oh, I airstrike. I airstrike. Don't die, Remember soldier. Remember me, Captain. Don't die again. Remember me. Well, I survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's Cyclops. He drops four button, in case you were wondering. Um. Hey, 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 You hey. dragged me out to do that all for- <laughs>